Supreme Rising family, how are you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful afternoon? I am doing wonderful, just wonderful. Trying to uh, get back situated <laughs> after a lot of, uh, we've been vacationing a lot, guys. So we've been really enjoying traveling and just enjoying life, enjoying family and close friends and just having fun, guys, which is what it's all about. I just needed to, I've been trying to get situated. I've had family here back in my home. I returned back to home home. And so we've had um, family here. And so we've been staying up late, two, three in the morning, laughing and talking and just having fun like um, loved ones do. And so... <laughs> been out of pocket for a little bit but I'm back guys Layla awake is back <laughs> and I think about I think about you guys there ain't a day that don't go by that I don't think about my people I'm always um always keep you guys in mind um as I move about my way on a daily basis so I needed to and wanted to take a few moments and come on and um, share something with you and I say something just chat a little bit actually and I wanted to talk about the times that we are in right now I want to tell you something guys I, I, I it's, it's like in the last few weeks I've just received a burst of energy amazing energy and I know the things that are happening in the universe, in the cosmos, and all of the cleansings. We talk about it all the time, the cleansings and how, you know, our DNA is being uh, upgraded and, you know, everything is just returning to uh, the original state, including our bodies. And guys, if you are really, 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 really paying attention, you'll notice it, you know, and those of us who are in this are in this awakened state we see it very clearly and it's just such an amazing time to be alive on this planet right now and in spite of all the negative that you know some are putting out there all of the gloom and doom type information that you know once you in this space and in this place and you realize how that stuff don't have to affect you. It does not have to move you at all once you are acclimated into this specific space that I'm in, <laughs> that many of us are in. You're not moved by that stuff. You're not moved by that uh, information. It's all an illusion. You know, uh, some people will call it real in, you know, in the physical sense, but in the spiritual sense, it's an illusion. So we can't allow that stuff to move us because we are continuing to rise and to uh, walk into, many of us are already here and we are uh, creating a beautiful world for ourselves. And I am one that is actually doing that and I'm having so much fun. But um, I'm a realist also. And so I want to say, because I'm still hearing about the, the stories about some that are still struggling, some that are still, um, that haven't been able to come into this place. And so most of us, though, have done the work to clear ourselves from the negative, negative people and the negative energies. We've been working really, really hard, and it's actually a job that we all should be um, embracing, or should have been embracing, and many of us, many of us who are aware, we have been, and we um, we are at such a higher place now. Um, the only thing that can stop us from moving forward is our negative thoughts and our mindset. And if we've been working to heal the inner child, and to heal all of those things that uh, Babylon had previously put upon us, and now in this new space with the universe and um, Mother Nature, all the work, the divine work that they have been doing to free us. Um, the only thing that can stop us from, from moving is our thoughts and our mindset. 
It's those of us who still uh, are not allowing ourselves to be free. Um, so if someone is still struggling with negative energies and negative entities, still tugging at them, then there's more work to be done. And a lot of the work that needs to be done is in the mind. You know, your 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 mind is a whole um, entity in itself. And so you have to get control of it because if you don't, then the negative energies, negative entities and energies will control it for you. So there's something you have to do the work to get control of your mind so that you can uh, rise above all of that. Um, Mother Nature and Universe, like I said, is working divinely to free us. We have, uh, we we have our um, our healers and um, our protective. Um, some call them angels. I call them ancestors and our ancestry group um, that are divinely in our space now to help help us evolve. And um, all we have to do is call upon them, and 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 utilize what they offer what they have they're here now the the ancestors are here and they're just waiting on us to call upon it on them now that we're healed though and we're closer to our uh, closer to healing some of us uh the only thing that can get in the way of our advancement is us we're the only ones that can stop us individually from walking into the manifestation that you know many of us have been working on we're the only one can stop that all we have to do is see it, believe it, and actually know it. Whatever it is that we want, we create it. And so nobody can interfere with that in this space that we're in but us. So we have to make up our minds and start, you know, meditating and asking, you know, Gaia in the universe to help us discover our skills, our gifts, and all of those you know, beautiful things that we were born with that have been suppressed for so long. We now can go in and find out, you know, what are, what are all those gifts, you know, and then start utilizing them, start, you know, creating the, the beautiful world. That's how, that's what you do. And so now is the time to, for us to be doing that. Uh, get with your spiritual team teams and start tapping into all of those beautiful you know abilities that we have within us our dna has been transformed it's been cleaned and cleared and upgraded and all we have to do is what we need to do and that's the only thing that is left um if you're still struggling though with the past uh then it's still you holding on to something and sometimes it can be those negative entities that we have gotten rid of that either we have, you know, awakened to a level to know that they were never good for us. They were, um, what do you call it? Oh, I can't think of the word right now, but they were definitely, you know, here to karmatic is what I was trying to think. The word I was trying to think of those karmatic um, beings that were put in our lives to stop us from evolving so we are now many of us are free from them and and even if we didn't free ourselves you know the universe has a divine way of freeing us even we can't even if we can't do it ourselves so um just be reminded that our spiritual teams are here to help us get to that next step um if it's energies that are still trying to hold on to you don't let them because many times, you know, those negative entities that were affecting those karmatic individuals, they, you know, they know we know who we are now. They know that we are awakened. They know that we're in a different place now, in a different space. They realize it just as we, many of us do. And they, you know, they don't want to let go because it was our positive energies that they were holding on to. So they're still tugging at many of us, trying to keep us down in that lower in, lower energy state. But it's up to us to rise above that. Only we can do it. Only we can recognize it and not allow it. But that's what they're trying to do. Don't let anyone, guys, 
Don't let anyone hold you back from your divine um, evolvement, evolving. Don't let anyone stop you or get in the way from your destiny. It's destiny. And of course, you know, destiny has to happen, but you can, you can delay it by allowing, you know, the past to keep getting in front of you. And we have to get control of that, guys. We have to control our thoughts. We have to be able to say no. You know, I will not engage in that. I will not allow you to come in and spoil my day. You know, I will not give you my energy. I refuse to go backwards and hand you what I've already been freed from. We have to get that mindset, guys. You know, we we, we just have to. Because I, I am still seeing um, family and friends, a lot of them are still trying to hold on to the past. And then what they're used to, which many times included you. And the, the struggle that you were in with them at one point. So you have to, because you have been free from that. And even if they haven't, you can't let them pull you back in it. You can't afford to do that. And you are, regardless of what you've been conditioned to think, you are in control of that. All of that old conditioning is gone. It's out. You are no longer in bondage and you have to, you have to realize that and start reminding yourself every time something may try to, something negative may start tugging at you. You got to remind yourself, no, I'm free. I'm free. I am no longer back there. That's all behind me. And guys, you have to leave it back there. You have to leave it there. It's, it's your past. And that's what it, it's meant to be in stay in your past. So that's the one thing you have to uh, become accustomed to is controlling your thoughts and leaving the past in the past. And even if you have to separate yourself more, uh, go into a complete um, silence, if, you, if whatever it takes to keep you safe. That's what you have to do, guys. It is it, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> and there's nothing nothing wrong with protecting you. You're going to have to be the one to do it. Nobody can do it for you. So, I I I just wanted to come on and and remind you of that cuz I know what I'm seeing, you know, in my um experience in the past couple of weeks with family and friends and people in general, I'm still seeing, you know, a lot of people are still not ready to let go. There are some that are not, but many of us are so farther along. I'm going to tell y'all something I experienced and I tell you, and I'll be in, in this space to where I can recognize it, you know, with my first eye. <laughs> it's just so amazing. But I know there's been rumors of the great flash coming and the fact that the universe is healing us in every way, you know, um, medically as well. And so I was on this medication I had been taking for quite some time. And um, I say about six or seven years. And I only took it because I felt I had to take it. But I want to tell you something. And any time I would miss a day or two, I would, um, after the second day, I would get up in the morning and I would feel bad. You know, automatically I knew what it was. Oh God, I didn't take that. I didn't take that pill. And I would go and get it and of course pop it in my mouth. And I always felt bad that, you know, I because I don't like taking medication. And I won't take it unless I absolutely have to. So for the past few years, if I ever for, just forget and didn't take that medication, automatically I would start feeling bad. You know, feeling um sometimes nausea feeling just feeling just feeling bad if you know what I mean but guess what this past week and a half or so I I forgot to take it a couple of days I was so swamped so busy with the um 
family reunion stuff that I just forgot. And then it was at the third day, I still hadn't taken it. And all of a sudden, I didn't feel bad. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. I know I didn't take it. I didn't take it this morning. I didn't take it yesterday. I didn't take it the day before yesterday. But I feel good still. What's going on? So I said, you know, I'm going to try to go tomorrow and not take it. And so I skipped the next day and then the next day. And eventually it was a whole week I didn't take the medication. And I still felt good. So I'm telling you guys, this healing is is real. It's real. It's taking place. You know, it's it's happening, guys. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anyone fool you. The, the, the sun is doing its thing. And even in this colder weather, because in here where I am right now, it's it's kind of cold. But the, it doesn't stop the rays of the sun. Just because it's cold, the sun is still doing its thing, God. We are, and we're sun people. We're still being affected. All people are being affected, whether it's positive or negative. So don't think the sun ain't doing what we know the sun is is supposed to do during these times because it is it is healing us it is healing us I, this is the first time i've ever been able to go this long without taking that medication in years and i i am coming off of it i will not take it anymore i am free from that medication and the fact is i understand why i know what's happening up there and what what it's doing in here so guys trust me all that we've been learning about what's going to be taking place, it is actually happening. And I am a living witness. I am healed. And all throughout my body, I am healed in every way. And in my mind, I am healed. And I am claiming it. I am feeling it. And I am walking in it. Guys, it's a beautiful time. And it gets more and more beautiful by the day, by the hour, by the minute. So I just wanted to give you that little testimony. If you're struggling, have been struggling with something and you've had to use medication in order to, because sometimes, you know, in this previous space, we had to take medicine for some ailments, you know, and you didn't much have a choice, especially if it was an acute situation. But in these times, guys, we're being healed. We're being brought out of that. People are throwing away their medication. They're getting rid of it. They're, they're not... They don't have to continue it, you know, like before. We're in a total different space. Our ascension is, we're up there, guys. And if you are a high priestess, you know what I'm talking about. If you're chosen, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even have to elaborate to you on it. So I just wanted to come on, though, and remind you of where we are and what's taking place on this planet and how it's affecting us and if we're if any of you guys are stalling still, then you need to check yourself because there's no reason why we should still be um, not thriving in these times. Check yourself, guys. Check what you're thinking about on a daily basis. Your thoughts. Th think about that. Think about what you may have not turned loose that you need to turn loose in your past. Think about it. And get to work on it, guys, because it's only you. Only you can do it. No one else can do it but you. And I know what's happening in my life. I know I am just blessed beyond blessed. I am just a happy soul today. And I'm having so much fun. Every day, there's something fun that I experience. And guys, if I can, if, if I can be in this space, you can be in this space too. And I want you to. So let's get up. Let's check ourselves. I always look in the mirror every morning. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with talking to you. It's, a, it's healthy to talk to yourself and just ask yourself, okay, what is it today that I need to do to move me a little bit farther up? You know, and then think about it and respond. And, you know, we need to do that on a daily basis and just keep moving and just keep loving, keep our heart chakra open and keep being the beautiful soul that we were created to be. Because there's no reason why we're not able to do that right now. That we're not in that space. Because we are in that space. <laughs> Anything, nothing can hold you back but you. And so I want you to take that 
take this message and walk boldly today and, and know that you are the greatest thing on this planet. There's nothing and no one greater than you. And I'm telling you that because I know that about myself. And we are one together, remember? So I just wanted to come on and give you this message this afternoon. And so um, I want you guys to have a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I'm going to ask you, like I always do, to like the video. Because when you like it, more people can see it. And please share it. Because when you share it, more people can see it. I'm going to ask you to click the notification bell. Because when you do that, you can continue to get the content if any of it resonates with you. And I pray that it does. It's something I say can help you in some way or you can forward it to someone that needs it. I appreciate you so much for that. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to say assalamu alaikum to you. Shalom. Namaste. Ashe. Ashe. And Ashe. Keep your heads up, guys. Hug somebody. There's always somebody that needs a hug. And don't forget to get your son. I love you very much, my beautiful family. I love you. I do. Peace be unto you. Until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye.